Yo, what's up? Name is Jet Leo One, and welcome to another edition of YouTuber, the mini series series thing, where I teach you how to get better at YouTube so you can have more fun with the thing. And this is another of the 07 type, which is pretty much the embodiment of this entire series, which is about actually getting better. This isn't tips on how to get better. This is, I have no idea how to describe this, but it does stuff, and that's important. But yeah, this time, last time, or the last two times, let's go with that first. The last two times I talked about. The importance of improvement and some ways you can improve it but here's one way to get in specific and that is how to deal with feedback now there's several kinds of feedback the most two prominent that I'm going to be talking about because that's the only two I can really think of off the top of my head would be the positive and the negative feedback and even though you may not like both of them they're both important so let's get into it right away and just rush since this is a quick gameplay and a quick game I love this game though but yeah for positive feedback this is hopefully what you're gonna get more but in the beginning you might not but still with positive feedback this tells you what you need to be doing whatever you're doing you're doing it right keep it up and that just that's the simpler one it means that this whatever you're doing you're doing it well you're doing it right and it's good so that means you don't need to change a thing or you might need to change something slightly to make what's good even better However, negative feedback is the most important feedback you can get. However, there is an important difference between negative feedback and trolling. If they just say, you suck her, her, and they don't do anything to justify anything, that's not negative feedback. That is not constructive criticism, that's just douchebaggery. And that's not worth listening, listening to ever. However, if it's just straight up negative feedback and they tell you, it's like, I don't like this. Like, you didn't do this well, dude, you had an error here, you did something wrong here, whatever that is. That is the kind of thing you need to listen to, because that is the main way to get better. Sure, positive feedback tells you, hey, you're doing it right, and you can try to do what you're doing right even better. But negative feedback tells you what you're doing wrong, and whatever you are doing wrong, if you fix it, it becomes something you're doing right. And thus, it's important to pay attention to the negative feedback so you can fix whatever is wrong. Because, if, again, if it's wrong, you don't want it to stay wrong. So, yes, take the negative feedback and see what they say. If they say something that's doable, then you should probably just go do it. If they say something that you know you can't do, then you need to sit there and actually talk with them. Because one of the nicest things about YouTube is they have a comment system. It's amazing, I know. You can talk to people. But what makes it important is that if somebody leaves you negative feedback and they actually weren't just trolling, they actually left you like actual criticism with something that's actually suggested on what you can do then you can sit there and ask them it's like well what do you think I should do what can I do what do you feel is necessary because while well I think I need to get this out of the way while you don't want to listen to everybody who says anything that's just stupid if somebody actually said something legitimate and you're like okay I get what you're saying but you don't know what you can do about it you can actually sit there and talk with them so talk with the people talk with your viewers they actually ha they're actually watching you you kinda owe them a little bit for watching you they sat through your stuff now you're gonna sit there through their talking it's even trade alchemical principles uh... equivalent exchange i nearly lost the ball right there that sucks but yes you need to sit there and actually take negative criticism also, whenever you get negative criticism, put it to use. Don't sit there and whine. A lot, a lot of people really, really enjoy uh, sitting there and just getting mad at everything. However, don't don't get mad at negative criticism because it's still it'll help you out in the end. You need to just take it in stride and accept you did something wrong. Don't get an attitude. But if it but if it is straight up trolling and it's like hurry you suck, no justification. Yeah, go ahead, delete the comment if they keep it up, block them. Don't accept. Like, only accept actual criticisms. If they're just being stupid, don't even bother. It's a waste of your time. You don't need it. But, yeah, so if you get negative criticism, try to see what you can do. Try to improve it. Because improvement is the most important thing. And feedback is the most straightforward way you're going to get. That's going to tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And again, you want to do more right than you do wrong. So, I did pretty badly on this. I'm sorry. I needed to... Can you guys leave some feedback on this one? So I can demonstrate actually using feedbacks like I'm talking about. But yes. 
anyways quick summary uh, if you get good feedback keep doing what you're doing if you get bad feedback you need to learn what you can change to turn that into good feedback but anyways this has been gently one and I shall see you later hopefully doing better thanks to feedback <laughs>